All right. So this is question number 11 from NSO uh, level uh, level 1 PYP 2020. Okay, so we have discussed this question in the last class and I want to explain how option C will be the correct answer and not option D. Okay, so we have to find the relationship based on body coverings. Okay, and select the option which satisfies the same relationship, which means that the first uh, name given here, whatever body covering this particular animal has, the same body covering should be there in the first option of the given answer. Okay, so for, for so basically, Arctic fox has body covering as fur. Yes or no? Arctic fox has the body covering as fur. Then salmon, which is a fish. What is the body covering of fish? Tell me. What is the body covering scales. of fish? Scales. Excellent. It is scales. And what is a parakeet? What is a parakeet? Feathers. 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 Right? It is a bird. So it has feathers as its body covering. Are you confused? Are you getting? You're, you're okay? Okay, all right. Yeah, so parakeet, it is a bird, right? So it has feathers as its body covering. So now you should see which of the given options has the same option. So it should be fur, scales, and feathers. Okay, these are the three body coverings that the animals given in the option should have. So in option D, yes, yak can have fur as the body covering, but what about bat? Does bat have scales as the body covering? Can bat have scales as the body covering? No. What about frog? Can frog have feathers as the body covering? No. Right? But frog has moist skin as the body covering. Right? Whereas if you look at your option C, mink, yes. And you remember in the last class I showed you the picture of a mink? Do you remember all of you? I showed you the picture of a mink? Yeah. So mink, it has fur as its body covering. Sardine, again sardine, sardine, it is also a fish. It has scales as the body covering. And penguin, again, we all know it is a bird. It does have feathers as its body covering. Okay, so it will be option C and not option D only. But since it is given like that in your books, I will have it checked once again. Okay, I will have it checked, but did you guys understand why it will not be option D and why it will be given as option if option C will be the correct answer? Right? Yes, Shriyan, what about you? Yes, miss. Oh, okay. all right. And which question did we stop at, children? Where do we have to go? Where, which question do we have to start from? Now we have to do question number 13. 13. 13. 12, we have 11, 13, we, have, we were going to start. Okay, so question number 13, right? <coughs> all right. So studying the given flow. So you all remember how we will be answering the questions, right? So once you are done solving, raise your hands and then I'll give you a question. Okay. So studying the given flow chart and identify P, Q, R, S and T. Take your time. Do not be in a rush. And when you look at such flowcharts, please don't get scared. Just follow the flowcharts. Just follow the uh, arrows and you will get your answers. And always try to eliminate options one by one. Okay. Okay. Next question. Very simple question. Don't worry. All of us know the water cycle and its processes, right? Right. Everybody knows the water cycle and the processes. So refer to the given figure representing the water cycle. First, identify all the processes. And then you talk about which of the following statements is correct. Okay. Okay. So I have a different method to uh, give you guys a chance to answer. Okay. So whenever you are in your... Have you ever played this game called uh, Chits? where you have to pick up a chit, let's say you're playing dumb charades, where you are enacting a movie or something, or you're playing fictionary, sometimes you have to pick up a chit, right? And then there is a name or something that is written in the chit, and the particular person, or you have to enact the particular act, or you have to enact the particular word, right? Have you ever played any such game where you have to pick out something from a bowl, and then whatever is there in the chit, you have to do that, right? 
so now since we're in an online setting i don't have a board with me or even if i pick it out i i cannot show it to you so what i'm going to do is i have a wheel of names have you ever seen when you went to a mall there is a wheel which you can rotate and it lands on something it's usually a discount or something like that on every part of the wheel on every wherever it points there is something written have you ever seen such a wheel anywhere when you went to a mall or when you went to a gaming zone or something right so i have this kind of a wheel online so and i have all your names written on it okay so for every question i will be i will be turning the wheel and whichever or whoever name the wheel lands on that person will try to answer the question okay fair enough if you don't know the answer you can always skip it to the next person but we'll try to make it fun like that okay so i'm going to share that tab just tell me have i written anybody's name double by mistake or something like that is or are all of your names here is somebody's name written twice since you've joined from your parents id any sort of any anything like that has happened everything is okay yes miss okay so shall i spin the wheel and see who is the first person going to answer yes miss oh all right all right okay so for now uh will you try to answer the question that we were discussing ma'am uh, ma'am according to be the option number is d but i don't know the exact explanation okay so according to you it is d and why do you think it is d beta whatever you understand what the explanation is you can tell me so first can you identify p q r and s ma'am uh, i think p is evaporation very good uh ma'am it's written q is water vapor no beta that is water vapor it is changing into cloud so what is this process condensation condensation very good ma'am what about r ma'am precipitate ma'am precipitation very good precipitation and what about s beta transition transition no beta see s is also precipitation but s is precipitation in the form of snowfall okay whereas r is precipitation in the form of rainfall you see the small small the dots that they have drawn here that is nothing but snow okay so s is snowfall all right now what are what let's look can you try and read all the statements beta process p is responsible for the formation of dew on humid cold nights is evaporation responsible for formation of dew no ma'am what is responsible for the formation of dew then this condensation ma'am yes yes that is correct condensation is responsible for the formation of dew it is not evaporation right basically what is condensation it is when your water vapor is a uh, changing into which form cloud sorry ma'am uh, it is dew drops Yes, so your water vapor, the gaseous form of vapor, water is turning into which form in condensation? Gaseous. What is the process of condensation? Gaseous form changes into which form? Into water. Into the water, into the liquid state, liquid, right? Liquid, yes. Okay. Yes. So that is basically condensation when gaseous phase changes back into the liquid phase. So liquid dew drops are seen. So condensation is responsible for that process, not evaporation. Okay. Yes, Punav, continue with B, C, and D. Dew does not evolve when it changes state of water. Ma'am, it is false because process dew is condensation which changes the water into water. Very good. So what about X, C? State of water. And X is <coughs> process R can sometimes lead to drought. Ma'am, what is a drought? Drought is basically extreme dry condition. Okay, where there is extreme dryness. Okay, lack of rainfall. When there is no rainfall that is received for a very long period of time, it leads to drought. So is that correct? Precipitation or is precipitation which has a lot of rainfall? Exactly. So even a statement C will be wrong. Whereas process S, it is a form of precipitation that takes place at very low temperatures. This is correct, right? Snowfall takes place at very low temperatures yes or no yes ma'am 
Okay, excellent. That is the reason why your option D is the correct answer. Clear to everyone? 